Hi, Al Ingalls here at alingles.com. Welcome to my little show that I do Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. for about eight minutes. Today we want to talk about hands and feet. Eh, can't quite get it up there. I'm standing up today. Uh, hands and feet. Hands and feet can be give you clues that you're triggering fight or flight. Sweaty palms. Let's go there first. So uh, I really noticed this as a violinist that if I was getting nervous before a concert, my, my hands would get sweaty and it's very hard to play the violin with sweaty hands. So if your hands are cold or sweaty a lot, that's a sign that you're triggering fight or flight. Same thing with your feet. If your feet smell, <laughs> if, you're, um, if your feet are cold, my feet used to be so cold at night. I get in bed, I want to wear socks because my feet were so cold. And sometimes still in the cold winter of Michigan, that is the case. But most of the time, it's not the case anymore. And it, it really blows my mind because I never could have imagined that I wouldn't have a cold feet problem. So the temperature is one thing. And what's going on, just so that if you're like one of those wide people, you want to go deeper, you want to know why. When we go into fight or flight, we're wicking fat and glucose from our extremities and our brain cells. So we're pulling this fat and glucose to the center of our body. So we have a ton of energy mobilized through our bloodstream so we can fight or run away. But most of us are not fighting and we're not running away. It might be fighting verbally, but most of us are not fighting physically. We're not even using that fat and glucose. When we've pulled it away from here, it's like we've lost our warmth and we have two kinds of sweat glands. Those smaller sweat glands are the ones that are monitoring our body temperature in general. And then the sweat glands that are in our armpits, our groins, and here too, they're, they're, they're deeper. And what you'll notice, which is why your feet might smell, your hands might smell too, is because they those deeper, um, those deeper pores, those deeper um, sweat glands actually um, collect more bacteria. So that's why if you're an athlete, if you work out every day, you might think, well, my sweat doesn't stink too bad. But if you're nervous, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it stinks. So temperature is one thing. Another thing that happens is the health of your skin on your extremities, the health of your skin in your face, the health of your skin on your hands and your feet. So if you have issues with your toes, circulation, issues with your toes, issues with how the skin is on your toes or on your hands and fingers, it could be a sign that you're triggering these stress hormones a lot. Again, we're wicking fat and glucose out of your extremities, your feet, your hands, your head. And with your hand, um, like I would never even show my hands on camera because I used to have eczema Cracked and bleeding, excuse my finger, cracked and bleeding, especially this knuckle here um, for 35 years. But these knuckles were all cracked and often bleeding. And my fingers were about twice as big. I could never get a ring on this hand in particular. Um, and if I put a ring on this hand, I had to take it off because actually it's just, I'm getting older and my finger's growing. <laughs> so, um, but, but once I got it on, I like, I couldn't take it off. I had to, it was hard to get it off because my hands were so swollen with eczema. So eczema, psoriasis, stress acne, um, the condition of your skin is also a barometer of what's going on stress-wise for you. So I never would have imagined because I suffered from eczema for 35 years, my very first violin competition that I had, my hands just flared up in eczema. And I, it was, scary actually because it was so uncomfortable it hurt every time I put my hands in water or tried to wash my hair it was it hurt it's like pouring salt in, into the into the wound and um and it was ugly like this was my bow hand and I'll never forget when a little boy I was teaching he was about six he goes Mrs. Ingalls, do you have leprosy? <laughs> like it was awful. <laughs> so, and shaking hands. Here I was an executive, you know, shaking hands with people. And every time I shook someone's hand, I know I went into fight or flight. So I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like feeling my skin. 
So are you understanding here how the condition that the, the release of the stress hormones and the psychological going into fight or flight causes the physical to happen? But then when you have a condition, it can be embarrassing. It can be annoying. It can hurt. And that's going to cause you to trigger the stress response again and again and again, too. So it's like this huge downward spiral. As I created Pressure Free back in 2010, um, I started, I, by the way, I, I was in denial. I didn't think I needed it. I thought I was a pretty calm person. And that was completely false. <laughs> My eyes were open. I'm like, oh, look at these things I'm doing. I am not <laughs> as, uh, as calm as I thought I was at all. And so I used to start using the method on myself and it was eight weeks in that I noticed profound physical changes in my being. Um, and the first was that the eczema was completely gone. And honestly, you know, I really, I cried. <laughs> I fell on the kitchen floor and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I can touch the skin on this finger. And I was like holding up my finger. <laughs> my husband, I go, honey, look, right? <laughs> It was a very funny moment, but it was also just so poignant. It was like, oh my gosh, something I had suffered from for so long has now dissipated. And now it's been, well, let's see, 20, almost 12 years. And to be able to just touch the skin on my hands. I mean, my husband had never known my hands to be normal ever until 2010. <laughs> and he met me in 1981. So, so it was pretty amazing and I marvel at it. This is just one of many, many things that happens for my clients. When you start to use this method, really dig in and master this method. It can take a while because we have habits of reaction that we have to untangle. But wow, in, in eight weeks was when I saw my breakthrough. I have some people have breakthroughs at two and a half weeks, four weeks, six months, four years, you know, it's always an up-leveling process where um, you notice different triggers and you are able to work with them and um, make such a huge difference physically and mentally for you. So if you have any chronic conditions that you're like, wow, maybe this could be helpful, please reach out, just um, private message me and I can send you my calendar link. It's just speakwithl.com. If you're an action taker, just go to speakwithl.com, book a time with me. Um, if all the times are taken, because I have a lot of beautiful clients right now, um, just reach out to me and say, hey, your times are taken that, that, you know, are you free here? Because I block out times to create content for my clients, to create new programs, to do my research. I'm constantly doing research and I'm really happy to serve you. Because if you're reaching out to me, I know that you're an action taker and you're someone that wants a result. And those are, that's, that's who I work with. I work with people who want a result. They're tired of not getting results. And, um, and the results could be surprising. Like for me, I never knew that I would free myself from a disease I had had since I was 13. So I wish you a beautiful pressure-free day and um, I'm gonna enjoy my hands. <laughs> I don't have to put any lotions or anything on them. It's so cool. And, um, and yeah, I just wish you a great day. Have a good one. Bye.